here, co-creator of NextLevelGuitar.com. Hope all is going well, and I hope your guitar and musical journeys are going famously. And today, I have a cool lead guitar lesson to get you introduced to the Dorian mode, but show you ways to play it where you could easily add this into your playing very quickly. If you've just been playing like minor pentatonic or a lot of blues, whatnot, this Dorian scale, Dorian mode, is really going to add a lot of spice to your playing. And hey, before we get rocking, if you could do me a favor, please subscribe to the channel. You know, subscribing to the channel really helps us to keep bringing the content. And you'll also be notified when we post another lesson. Leave a comment below. Let us know what lessons you'd like to see coming up, how you like this one, what gear you'd like to see reviewed. Um, if you like the video, please click the like button, share it, and thank you so much for your support. And in this lesson, I'm going to break it down, make things really easy for you to digest too. I'm not going to go too crazy on the theory because I want to just get you playing in this mode, having fun. And it's all about the sounds on the guitar. And I'm going to make a bunch of lessons in this series. So we'll go from, you know, this first basic one and we'll get a little bit more into it as we go along. If you're a blues player, rock player, maybe even a jazzy player, the Dorian mode is so useful. And if you're not using it, like I was saying earlier, if you're just using kind of minor pentatonic and blues, which is great, you know, but you you're going to mix in this Dorian mode and it's going to give you two extra notes that are not in minor pentatonic and you could do a lot with those notes as far as half step bends and land on certain chords that'll really really make your guitar playing just stand out and come alive. These modes are so great to play in and they're not very complicated either. I know a lot of times it could be confusing but the modes are great because they give you a different mood right each one and they're so expressive. This jam track that we're using is in the key of D minor and it's just two chords and it's a really fun progression to play over. All it is is a D minor seventh to a G seventh chord. Okay, and I got this jam track at bandcamp.com. Uh, Sebastian Zunio, he's a French guitar player and he makes some really great jam tracks. I'll put the link here. I like this one. It's really fun and inspiring to play over and it's wide open too. So it, you could very easily weave a solo in it. And I'm not really a jazzy guy per se. I mean, I, I love all genres of music and I do love jazz, but I'm more of like a rock, hard rock, rock blues guy. But I just thought for this lesson it would be fun to do something a little bit different. And this is an easy way to get you playing in this mode. So in the key of D minor, and this progression is a one minor chord to D minor going to a four major chord, the, the uh, G seventh. So we're in minor key. As soon as you're in minor key, you know you can use minor pentatonic and blues. And probably a lot of you are doing that. And you might be playing this basic box shape here. <laughs> Right? Everybody knows that one. It's great. Awesome. Or the expanded blues scale here. Right? But we want to mix that in with Dorian. Now those are six note scales. Minor pen pentatonic and blues is a five note scale. I'll draw it out here. And what the Dorian mode does is it gives you two extra notes. It gives you uh, the second or ninth and also gives you the sixth. And these notes are really awesome. And in the solo, you heard me stopping and landing on those notes, bending to those notes to accent them. And it gives you a very different sound than straight blues or straight minor pentatonic. And then when you mix that with blues like I was doing, you really come up with some interesting sounding licks. I was mixing minor pentatonic with the, you know, with the blues scale, with Dorian, with some minor seven arpeggios. I was also putting in diminished arpeggios. Um, which I like to mix with the blues scale too because it gives you that different sound. So I'll show you two shapes, one off the sixth string root, one off a fifth string root for you to play the Dorian mode. Now, obviously the Dorian mode is a series of intervals across the whole neck. I'm just showing you these two because they're easy to grab quick and I'll get you playing them fast. Off the low E string, 10th fret, right? Let's play this shape here, it looks like this. Okay, so already you see this has two notes that are not in minor pentatonic. There's our uh, E note, um, which is uh, uh, 12th fret here on the high E, and our B note, which is the 6th. So we have that 6th, and we also have that ninth or 2nd. Right? And those are great because you could bend to the flat 3rd or to the flat 7th. Right, and you have them here also. You heard me. 
like landing on landing on those notes in the solo um, because they they sound so kind of jazzy, right? So that's the six string root, and that's movable. You can play that in any key. Just first finger on that root note. We're doing it in D minor over this track. Um, if you want to play it in G, just start it here on the third fret. Play that shape. And I was also using that fifth string root. First finger on the D here on that fifth fret of the A string, and that shape looks like this. And then also you can mix that in with that with that blue note, which you have your A flat. So the Dorian mode is the second mode in any major key. That's something to really want to burn into your memory. Just put that aside right now. The other thing is when to use it. You could certainly use Dorian over minor chords, but here we're playing over a progression and I'm using Dorian over both chords. So you can use Dorian mode over all the chords or what relates to all in certain situations in minor key. Um, the reason it works is right is here because we're going from a one minor chord D minor to a four major chord which has that B note in it, right? Natural minor, it would be a B flat and you don't want to play that note over that C over that G7 chord because it would sound really out of key. So whenever you're in minor key, you could use Dorian over all the chords when it goes from a one minor and there's a four major or a two minor, which is basically a four major. Um, so most of the time when you're playing a minor key, a lot of times you'll see a four minor chord, especially minor blues, but occasionally you'll see that four major and that's a great time to blast Dorian over all the chords. And that's what I was doing in this progression. I was landing on certain chord tones or notes of certain chords, but for the most part, I was just using D Dorian over everything. So lay down a simple groove or go get that jam track, right? And now we can apply what we're learning. One of the easiest things that you could do is this. When you're practicing that scale, a lot of people will practice it like this, straight eighth notes. Right, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and, right? But what we wanna do, especially in this style, is we wanna start swinging your notes. And that will give the scale this little do ba 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 feel instead of that one and two and because playing straight eighth notes really isn't very musical. And if you'd like some really fun and great sounding jam tracks, I could help you with that. I'll send you my jam track coach. What it is is six jam tracks, but I pair each track with a written lesson. Detailed lesson going over the what are the chords, going over um, the progressions, going over different things that you could try scale-wise, modal-wise. It's kind of like a template that you could use going forward. Each jam track has a written lesson, and then also so you get an ebook with that, and then you get another ebook on all the scales, scales diagrammed out, soloing strategies. It's a killer little practice tool, six jam tracks, two ebooks. Click on that link below, send it to you for free from Next Level Guitar. But when you swing the notes, it really gives it a little bit more rhythm. You want to have that feel. So definitely when you're first learning the scale, certainly practice it, you know, eighth notes with a metronome or whatnot, but also practice it, try to practice it with a little more of that swing feel. Same thing with the other shape. And then you can start mixing up the notes, right? doing was descending down that expanded scale but it's kind of swinging the notes stopping going back a note going forward kind of mixing things up it's an easy easy way for you to start really sounding different and take these scales that you probably don't even know that well yet put on the track and just start having fun with it now there's three notes I really want you to concentrate when you're playing that scale. I want you to concentrate on that B note, which is the sixth, on that E note, which is your ninth, and also always know where your root notes are. We're in the key of D. Root note, root note, root note, right? Another one here in the long form. Okay, and then in this shape, you have one back here too. All right, so know where those notes are 
that make the scale a little different. So just do little bursts. Then slide back, right, to those two Dorian notes. Right, and bend from the Dorian. Here I'm bending the ninth flat to the flat third. See, I'm bending here, I'm bending that six to the flat seven. And I'm ending here, right, ending on that E note. Right? Um, and then resolve to your root note. So let's just stop here and start with that, okay? Get that jam track or make your own jam track with those two chords. I want you to learn those two shapes. For now, know that you're, we're playing over both chords. We're playing what relates to all. We're not taking each chord and treating it separately yet. We're playing over the whole progression. In this instance, it's just two chords, but we're using Dorian over both because Dorian is a great mode to use when you're in minor key and you have that four chord that's major. And the seventh chord that's in a major family has that major third. All right, so swing in the notes and then just practice those scales, but stop, slide around on those and hear how each sound over each chord. All right, and I think you'll really be surprised at how quickly you could start using this and put it into your playing. And really work on it because a lot of times, you know, with so much stuff available to us, like via the internet, we tend to move on to the next thing a little quick. You really want to learn, get hold of something and master it to some degree and add it into your playing and then move on, right? You could do this in other keys, over other progressions. Dorian is great. You could use Dorian over one, four, five, you know, major key blues, swings, and shuffles because Dorian has elements of minor and major, minor pentatonic and major pentatonic, right? So you get that dark minor notes and the sweet major notes. So over one, four, five swings and shuffles, you could use the Dorian mode, you could use it over minor chords, and you could use it over minor progressions that have major four or minor two chords. Again, I don't mean to get into the theory really heavy, we'll do that coming up. Be sure to tune into those lessons. Such a great fun mo mode and so useful across so many genres of music. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel, that really helps us to keep bringing the content. Also, uh, don't forget, get that Jam Track Coach. It's a killer practice tool. Six Jam Tracks, two ebooks, send it to you for free. Just click on that link below. And if you get a second, I just dropped a new record with my original band, Mind Cell. We're based out of San Diego. I think it's a slamming record. I'd love to hear your feedback on it. It's streaming on all the digital platforms. You can also get it on CD or you can download the record. I'll put all those links in the YouTube description box below and some more fun links. Stay tuned. I got tons more killer content and lessons coming and I got a lot of gear reviews coming up too, some effects reviews. So stay tuned. Thank you so much for your support over the years. Take care and remember your guitar playing is an evolution. Rock it.